Hey guys, how's it going? Back for another video in the sunroom again. One of my favorite places to to film when doing videos. So yeah, how was your guys' uh, weekend last weekend? Mine was kind of, yeah, it, it was okay. My bro Kylan got into some trouble over a little bit of weed, but, you know, hopefully everything works out. Like he was saying when we was talking on the phone a little bit ago, a couple weeks back. But, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's been, uh, I was just telling Clayton, it's been at least two weeks since I posted a video last, because the last video was uh, two weeks ago, and we were filming outside, um, so yeah, that was the last video, and I gave, uh, Violet and Kylan and 99 Projects shout-outs, that was the very last video I did, so yeah, um, right now, I'm, I'm currently watching a video from our good friend Davidas, uh, if none of y'all know who that is, he's a, uh, he's another, um, talented, uh, guitar player, uh, same as Tom Felton, um, hopefully you guys are checking him out if you haven't yet, and, uh, but yeah, um, I would love to give, a. Uh, Shout outs to Just Trucking and Just Trucking Wife. Excellent job on the boat, by the way. Captain T Doves, that was a real, really excellent job on that boat. And uh, yeah, other than that, I've been, uh, I've been just uh, chilling out here really at home, just watching the tube, seeing who was on. And, uh, just trucking, um, I know you've talked about, uh, the Playing With Cash channel, but, uh, I haven't been able to find it. I mean, I mean, I know it's there, but I'm not, I'm not finding it. I mean, I'll keep scrolling every now and again. Anyway, um, great job, Captain T-Dubs, on that boat, Keep driving it out on, out into the lake and out of the, out of the heart, or out of the dock. So that was really great. That was awesome. And, uh, Quady, um, I would love to camp out with you, man, over, like, a Saturday night or something. You should come to Como and uh, w so we can camp together overnight. And I, I would love to try those chili waffles. Those things sound really good. But other than that, though, guys, I've been just hanging out, relaxing. Taking it easy. Wishing you guys would uh, get down in the comment section and say what you would want for videos. I missed that, man. Like two years ago when me and Jimmy was at it, uh, you guys would make get down in the comments every now and then and say, hey, can you do this for a video? Can you do that for a video? I mean, <laughs> I miss those days, guys. Come on, bring them back. I want to hear more of your awesome ideas for videos. That was really cool. That was so awesome back in those days. I miss those. So, yeah, other than that, just, uh, it's getting cooler outside now. Um, today's what forecast said, uh, what, 59? And, uh, well, like a couple weeks ago, when 
when the forecast went on a couple weeks ago Wednesday, the forecast said nothing about no rain, and yet it started raining later on, like in the night. I'm surprised, like, it was thundering so hard, like there was one that was so hard, I'm surprised that the power <laughs> and the house or anywhere else didn't go out. That could have easily happened. J just like, just like that. Um, and I was just sitting there watching YouTube. Next thing I know, there's this heavy crash of thunder. And I'm like, damn. I'm surprised the power hasn't went out just now when I was. Because that crash of thunder was so uh, so powerful that, you know, we all know how that gets. Like, I seriously thought, literally thought the power here and down the road or just anywhere in general in Como would be out as well. It would have been like, wow. So then... If I would have done another video at that time, if the power had gone out, there would have been no getting it up. And that would be that. Like, that would be like, I put all my hard work and everything into this video, and now to know that it can't be released? Damn, that would be like, That'd be like saying a really good movie was on the way of being released and all of a sudden it got pushed back till next year when the original date was so and so. <laughs> but yeah, we all know where that where that goes and what that leads to. So but yeah, you guys um Get down there in the comments. Tell me what to do for future vids. Whether you all want to see vlogs or like two years ago where I can like smash, start smashing stuff again. Because I know y'all like that. Especially, uh, I forget who it was, but a gamer... Or somebody said that they really enjoyed it and subscribed, like, probably while they were watching. I wouldn't be surprised, because I would, too. And uh, somebody else um, asked a long time ago what Mugs Up is uh, from my t-shirt. Um, Mugs Up is this really cool family operated little I don't want to say restaurant because it's not well I mean I guess I guess it I guess it is a restaurant sort of kind of although you, you can't go into sit and eat you gotta like stay in your car and eat which is cool and what they need to do is like during the to the winter months so that they could stay open like year round, which would be sweet, by the way, because I love root beer and burgers and fries, especially if they're homemade. And mugs up, you can't beat it. Like, if there was like an indoor porch or garage kind of where um, carports if there was a carport where cars could drive in and then make their purchases and orders and then they can enjoy all of that without having to be out in the cold and trying to order hurry up and get back home if they had like an indoor uh, carport, vehicles could just pull right in, 
make their order and enjoy their food. It'd be the same thing, only minus the cold weather. And also, um, I've got a job opportunity coming up with, uh, I forget the, their name, but it's like uh, VR. I'm just going to call them VR. But, uh, but yeah, I got a opportunity coming up with that pretty soon. And I had a job here in Como, real great job, but needless to say, I was fired from that job because I mean, we, I guess we were both in the wrong for what happened, but not me, not as much me as the other person. The other person, like me, I was in the wrong because I just did it. I just, I was frustrated because nobody would, you know, talk. All of those people that are sitting there that are more capable of, of talking, like when I would try to say I need something, I would start out nice. Like, nice and plot, but then I just, I don't know, I just, one, like, it would turn from 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half. God damn, man, just come on. Like, and the straw finally broke the camel's back around uh, Christmas last year. Um, the head of honcho just, instead of like taking me aside and saying, hey, what's wrong? We can fix, you know, fix this. We can resolve the problem. Nope, there was none of that. She just outright fired me in front of God and everybody. So my recommendation for people, other disabled people looking for work, do not go to CMLC services because I found out after being there for two years, it's not worth it. So don't go, it's not worth it. All that's gonna happen is somebody like me same as me, say if somebody same as me was there and trying to get, like, trying to say, hey, I need something, and instead of somebody saying, hey, we can't move, but there'll be somebody with you in a bed. Nope. There was none of that there. None of that at all. I've been working there for two years, so I recommend to anybody looking for a job, same as me, just do not go to CMSC services. It's not worth it. They're not, they're not great with people with disabilities as far as communication goes. So yeah, just don't go there. I wouldn't recommend it to nobody. Hell, I, I don't even know if I want to go back to work. I mean, shit, if I can make, if I can get money coming in from these videos, and if, you, if I could get you guys to go in the comments and say what you want to see, and then, yeah, we could just, I could just make an income from that, I wouldn't have to worry about drama or none, and like, none of that anymore, because it would just be fun work from here on out, in fact, it wouldn't even be work, it wouldn't even be a job, because a lot of these YouTubers I enjoy watching, they have like, I don't want to say Vuku dollars, because they're not like millionaires, I, I realize that, but 
They make good money with what they do. They don't even call it a job or work or anything. It's just making videos and selling merchandise and everything. And I cannot wait till I get to that point. But for me to get there, um, <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to just get down there in the comments and subscribe and share and uh, just uh, get just get my name out there a little bit, you know, do, do whatever, just get me out there so that we can, I don't know, hang out and I could we could start like holding sweepstakes and stuff not that I ever done, ever done that but it would be it sure would be cool to give it a shot because a lot of cool people want a lot of cool stuff with sweepstakes like how everything from concert tickets to I don't know or everything so, but yeah, um, just, uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment, tell me what you want to see, or what you want to hear, and we'll do it. Alrighty, well, um, that's gonna about be it for this video, um, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in another video. That was what about five, ten? Was that, uh, I want to say that was... You all done? Yep.